Hi, good morning, class. Good morning, sir. Okay, today we are this looking at optical storage media. We have already looked at the magnetic storage media, magnetic tape, hard drive, floppy disk, and so on. Yeah. Okay. So we are going to start looking at optical media. And we're going to start off, first of all, by doing some work on lasers. We are going to attempt to discover, first of all, what a laser is, secondly, how it works, and thirdly, what are some of the uses of lasers, and probably as well, we are going to look at some precautions and some dangers associated with lasers. Okay? So, to get you in the frame of mind, I have a video loaded on YouTube that shows you some of the things that are possible with lasers. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we are going to move over to this computer here. We are going to follow that video. And let's see, let's take a look at it. Let's give you a pretty good idea of what is possible with lasers. Like, 
Right line. Yeah, it's line. So what does that tell you about lasers? That line. Laser. E emission or radiation. Alright, it means light amplification by stimulating emission of radiation. So a laser is basically a light. But it's not an ordinary light, it's a special type of light. Light that has been amplified. Okay. So that's why it can appear in can burn out things, it can penetrate metals and so on. Now the difference between a laser and an ordinary light, and let's say like a flashlight, is that. Oh yes. But the reason why the laser is brighter is because all the light from a laser focuses in one direction. Okay. If you switch on your flashlight, the light of the flashlight spreads. Okay. That is the reason why the flashlight has what is called a reflector that attempts to focus the light. One direction, the silver thing at the back of the bulb. But even that is not very effective. Because anytime you put on a flashlight, you see a big. Right, like it's in the lights. They have a reflector that attempts to direct the light in one direction. The light spreads all over the place. Right? But a laser doesn't have a problem. A laser focuses all the light in one direction. Okay. Only for it one in one direction. So it is possible to stand on the, on the ground and the with a laser and spot it on the moon. Okay. Because the beam travels more or less in one direction. You might not see it on the moon, it's spot on the moon, but it's possible to actually detect it. Okay. Now laser works basically in a very simple way. We have lasers. A laser would use either a crystal, which would be in the shape of a rod, that contains either a gas or a liquid. Right? And around that gas you have around that rod, sorry, to have a, a, a flash. Something similar to what is used in the flash bulbs in cameras. Okay? Now when electricity passes, passes through the flash, the flash is on and off and it causes the crystal to start producing light. Okay? Right. At the front and at the back of the crystal are two mirrors. One is a total mirror, which means that any light that comes at it is reflected back. The other one, the one at the front, is what you call a partial mirror. When light gets bright enough, it allows light to pass through it. It will reflect light, but if the light is bright enough, that will allow the light to pass through. So what you have is that the crystal produces light at the front and at the back, and the light keeps being reflected back and forth between the two mirrors. Okay? When the light is bright enough, then it can escape to the partial mirror at the front and get out. Okay? Good. Yes, yeah, so you'll find lasers in, in objects like what? In things like what? DVD players, CD players, games, right? Well, some games, right? some handheld games, some console games. Yes. Lasers, some scanners also use lasers, printers use lasers. Okay? Right. So, what I want you to do for me now is. Let me break it up into groups. One group, groups of. How many have you seen? So, groups of tools, one group is going to research on the types of lasers. One group is going to research and the uses of lasers. And this group over here, so you know types of lasers, uses of lasers, and you will do for the dangers and precautions associated with lasers. Yeah. You need to create that, you need to write that report because you have to report to the class next time we meet. 